Hey guys, today I may tell you my paranormal experience. I have a lot of stuff that has happened to me in my family. So yeah, I'll try to go in order, but from the, I don't remember when it happened, or the age I was, so I'll just get started. I was... The first story I have is when I was, like, I don't know, around kindergarten or first grade. I was in the living room watching my favorite TV show, and while my dad took a shower, I sat up, I looked in the hallway, and I saw, well, this hallway over here, I saw something like a shadow of something walk towards the living room where I am then like slowly turns and slow down then walk into the room I am in right now. Well at first this was only my toy room but yeah I haven't seen anything else like that and the, then I don't know maybe third grade I was Taking a bath, I was playing with all my toys in the bathtub. Uh, then I heard this lady's voice sort of scream. Then I just went like this and dropped everything. I was looking in the hallway. This is how the bathroom is set up. The door. Uh, then it goes the sink, toilet, and then the bath. And the bath is up again up against the wall and I was facing the door. I just dropped everything and then just looked in the hall. I don't see anything. And then my dad came running down the hallway into the bathroom saying, what was that? I was like, I don't know. He could tell that it wasn't me because I was really scared. But then he checked his room, which was like by the bathroom, and then my room, which was right by the bathroom too. This was my old bedroom, which is across the house, and that has never happened again. But yeah, I was like, okay, yep, I'm done in the bathtub, dried, me, dried off, put my clothes on, then went to the living room and played with all my toys. And then, when, maybe fourth grade, I was at my mom's, and my brother, it was only... My mom, me, and my brother. My brother, my mom was asleep on the couch, and my brother was in the chair playing PS3. He and I was awake watching my brother, and it was late at night. It was in the winter time, and yeah, I was just watching my brother play PS3. Then all of a sudden, we hear a knock on the window. Oh, the window that was like behind my brother where he was sitting. So he, so he paused his game, got up, looked out the window, no one there. Then he was like, hello. Then he went back to playing his game about a couple minutes later. The window that was like behind me and my mom does a knock on that window too. Like, then, and then my brother got, paused his game, got up again, went to where my mom and me were laying, and he, Try not, he didn't try to wake up my mom, but he looked out the window, there was nothing there. And in the morning, there were no footsteps outside in the snow, and yeah. We told our mom the story, and she heard it too, and yeah. And then, I just lost my train of thought. Because, uh, my mom said that at night, she could hear voices in the hallway. He, he, in the hallway, having a conversation. But it does, but it only happens when my brother and I aren't there. Which, I could probably see why, because they don't want... Well, maybe the ghost doesn't want to scare us or something. Because I was a little freaked out. 
by all the knocking on the windows. And then, that's basically it at the house. Well, there's also one more. My mom's ex-boyfriend, Jim, he was, what, first, well, in the, when it happened, they were boyfriend girlfriend. He was laying on a couch. He was, like, half awake. And, like, the couch is facing this way. When you look, you can the hallway is like right in front of you, and, and um, he was half awake. He woke up, and he's and he was half awake. You know, when you uh, when you kind of just woke up, your eyes are a little blurry, but he could. But he thought he saw my mom walking down the hallway into the bathroom, and then like, then. Then my mom came home from work and he, and he was like, Hmm, weren't you home? Yeah, so he thought the shadow was my mom, which, no, it wasn't. And then, my mom moved to this one farmhouse. House, and she said that the house was haunted by a ghost named Bill Freeman. And he, he, she said that he built the house. And so, yeah. And the stuff that happens there, but I didn't see it. Only they, no. Is that the phone light will flicker, will turn on when it's already off. Like, it would just pop back on. And then they see uh, some walk by the kitchen window, like, they'll see a guy's face, you know, and we'll, like, like, he'll walk by, look into the house, and just keep going. I never seen him. So, yeah. Then my mom said that the closet door will open and shut. And she says that he doesn't go in my room. And and my mom's dog, Susie, she would go in my room, hop up on my bed and just lay there. Because the ghost likes to... My mom's dog hates the ghost. Like, the, like the ghost will always chase her or something like play with her or try to but but yeah Susie will just go in my room cause my mom says is the ghost Bill doesn't go into my room I don't know why then yeah then my then mom and her boyfriend Jim says that he, like, he stays in the basement and so you know I've only been in the basement once and there's no rooms anywhere. There's no rooms because they still have to put up the walls for the rooms. But yeah, those just wood for the rooms. And then, and that's pretty much it at that house. And then a few months ago, yeah, a few months ago, like, I don't know. June maybe. I I was the only one up, and it was late at night, and uh, I was walking back from the bathroom, um, and I heard this lady's voice by the door, which is just around the corner of my room. Um, well, and I the lady's voice. I couldn't make it out what it said, but I, but it was a lady's voice, it was a female voice, and, and I stopped, and turned around, and looked, no one though, then I got a little freaked out, so I just bolted to my room, hopped in bed, head, and put the blankets over my head, and, and just stayed there and watched the door for a while, and then,
a few nights after that, again, I was the only one up watching TV, and I was coming back from the bathroom, and I I heard footsteps right behind me, like, coming towards me, and I just stopped, turned around, I didn't see anything, but I still heard the footsteps coming, and so I just, again, bolted to my room, um, threw the covers over my head, just watched the door, uh, and I was watching this door over here, and so I was on my left side just watching the door uh, for a while, but nothing came into my room, I didn't hear the footsteps, and so, yeah, and then, mm, my cat, I was. Let's see what was I doing. I think I was gonna get my cat more food. Food, and so I was walking towards the bathroom, which is right behind that wall. Oh, or my cat's bathroom. And I was. Then my cat ran into my room. Like he was gonna walk past and looked. Then and he just kind of, like, how a cat was about to go after something. He just kind of, yeah, like, he was like that, looking up on my bed. And I was like, what are you doing? What, what do you see? Then I walked into my room, looked between the dresser and my bed, but looked on top of my bed and there was nothing there. Looked under my bed, nothing there. Uh, and then one night, well, one day, I was home alone. I think it happened this summer. And, and uh, I went and I was walking into my room for something. And then I just got like a ble like a blow of air come back. I was like, that was strange. And that's the only time I felt I've felt it was just when I walked into my room and something was walking out and just cold air just blew. I was like, hmm, that was strange. And then, um, when my friend Izzy was up, we we were singing, doing music videos to post on Izzy's Facebook, or send to her fun cat. So, we were in my room with the door shut, just jumping out, and then Izzy set her phone up on my dresser, uh, and as we, as we played the video back, her phone was shaking, like you could see like the flame that up on my ceiling you could see that the phone was shaking but we had no clue so Izzy played so we did another video and the phone didn't move the next time and we were like okay then sorry my dog was whining probably cause, probably cause our neighbors Chihuahua, Bill is outside, or our neighbor Jim. And then, and with, is my friend Izzy downloaded this voice record app. Quit the buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Then my friend Izzy downloaded this voice record app, and we're asking questions like, is anyone here? What is your name? Then I asked, are you in the closet? So I walked over to my closet, moved my amp, and tried to open it. But I couldn't open it. I could twist the handle, I just couldn't pull it open. Even with all my I might, I couldn't pull the door open. Talk about this closet door right here. I couldn't not open it. It was like, what's wrong? I was like, I can't open the door. So she came over and tried. She couldn't open it. So that we got a little freaked out, so we just so we just took off to the living room. And then I was like, 
I'm gonna go back and try to open the door again. So I came back, tried to open the door, and I couldn't. It kind of freaked me out. Then when Izzy came, and even even when we took my backpack off the handle, we still couldn't open it. Then Izzy tried one more time, then we could finally open the door. And and how Izzy opened it, she when she felt the door open, she just kind of shut it, but she didn't shut it all the way. Then I was like, then I looked in the closet, there was nothing there. That freaked me out. And then something happened to me last night. I was in the shower uh, and I saw a shadow go by the curtain, the shower curtain. I was like, what the heck? So I looked out, there was nothing there. It freaked me out. And my mom said it when Izzy was up in July, she said that her house right now is also haunted. And I was like, okay, I'm guessing the ghost might follow them, because wherever she lives, there's always some type of ghost. Because my mom, she woke up to someone calling her name, and she asked her fiancé Doyle, oh, did you call my name? And she was like, and he was like, no. Well, and then she said that you could, what was it, there's something else, like footsteps, or you could see something move in the corner of your eye, he, and so it's just like, oh, I'm going to stay up, up until 3 a.m., because as maybe some of you know, that 3 a.m. is the witching hour, and that is where there's a little more, there's a lot of paranormal stuff that happens. So, yeah, I was like, okay, I'll stay up with the. My mom was going to, but she was just too tired, so she went to bed. So Izzy and I just stayed up watching movies on Amazon Prime. And then when it hit 3 a.m., nothing happened. Then we just went to bed, and that was it. Then. Then again, when Izzy was up here, she heard knocking on the walls, and I was like, I never heard that before. And for Izzy, she has also heard some some paranormal stuff has happened to her too. Like one night, she got so scared that she called me, he, and told me what was going on. And so yeah, so she wanted me to take her mind off of it. And yeah, and then. I then a little bit ago I checked my arm and I had like scratches on my arm and I don't know what that's from. Um but now the gondo just like little white scratches. This and I don't know, I can't explain that. My brother also has some stuff that happens to him, like he woke up with a handprint on his back. And I don't know. And he used to live at my grandma's, and that's when he got the handprint on his back. But I don't, I can't explain any of it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and share, or subscribe. You can also share it. And I'll see you later. Bye.